now we know that our ideal gas equation is 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 P V is equal to N R T. You should embed this equation in your mind. Looks terribly simple, very very simple, but it is of utmost importance when you are solving any solving for any variables of the gases, and when you are in thermodynamics, this becomes doubly useful. Fine. Whatever be the conditions, if you go to the thermochemistry, thermodynamics, what happens? There you'll have mostly two kinds of conditions. Okay, you'll have a process that is either adiabatic or it is isothermal. Isothermal. Okay. So in in thermodynamics, in thermodynamics. we deal with with two conditions the two conditions primarily number one is isothermal isothermal is temperature is a constant iso means same thermal is temperature okay isothermal or secondly it is an adiabatic it it has nothing to do with what we are doing currently i'm just trying to give you a glimpse adiabatic is a, an insulated system insulated system what does it mean whatever heat energy it has it just cannot flow out or nothing from the outside can flow in insulated system that's all okay okay insulated system <coughs> now in the adiabatic condition some other equation comes into play one more equation okay and and that equation is p into v to the power gamma is equal to constant what is gamma i'll i'll i'll, I'll tell you later but what happens many a time when we are looking at this and we are solving things which are adiabatic we just forget that in the background this equation is always 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 followed okay whatever you are doing whatever new conditions whatever new 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 parameters you are imposing on on your uh, gas but it will never stop following this equation yeah even when it's following this it has to follow this additionally <coughs> That is, this is additional. This is not additional. This is something that has to be followed. Come what may. Okay. This ideal gas equation. Okay. So many a times you'll you'll find that no, this happens. Okay, fine. If if we keep this constant, something else happens. But this never ceases to operate on a gas. It is always there. Universal, universal. Equation for the gas. Never forget that. Many a times we forget it. Many a times. Okay, then you'll suddenly remember why not ideal gas equation, and then then the solution is there. Okay. So even after a lot of practice, you'll have this habit. But since I'm introducing this to you for the first time, I want you to understand. You have a gas. You have this equation. You have it. There's simply nothing that can change it. Nothing. Whatever conditions, whatever contain, whatever is happening, it is to be followed. Okay, the universal, the fundamental relation you always associate whenever you are dealing with gas. Okay, later you'll get conditioned. I am telling you the, the see it is, it is a very very kind of oh, very simple kind of equation that that that, that looks very insignificant. And it does not seem as if it will encapsulate and hide all all of this, but it does. The trouble is, it does. Okay. So gas immediately ideal gas equation. It is there always. Okay. <coughs> now, now you see, 
and it will help you like anything. The moment you are solving gases, it is this which is to be manipulated. Okay. Now let us say someone says, I have the N fixed. Okay. I have the N fixed. That is the number of moles I am not changing. That means it is a closed container. Correct? In a closed container, in a closed container, where n remains a constant, where n remains a constant, what happens? If n is a constant, see, Pv is equal to nRT gives. Look, n is a constant, r is a universal constant, is it not? So, so the, their product is also constant. Okay? Now, whenever that happens, it gives us Pv upon T is equal to constant. And these three are, are those macro variables which, which you can measure. Right? You can measure these variables. So, what I am saying, saying, therefore, P1, V1 upon T1 is equal to P2, V2 upon T2. This is called the combined gas equation. This is called a Combined gas equation. And it involves how many variables? Six. Okay. If it involves six variables, then maybe five of them are given and you are asked what will be the, the sixth one. Okay. So, so some amount of gas contained in something, initially had this pressure, <coughs> this volume, this temperature, it is compressed to this volume, okay, and the temperature becomes that, what do you think about the, the pressure, okay, and, and this is also a very, very useful thing, but its mother is, sure, hmm. and, and, and you should be able to, you should be able to, understand these things. So, if I say it is an isothermal, isothermal, this remains a constant for the fixed amount of gas in a closed container. So, this, this, this remains constant. So, what happens? PV is equal to constant and it will it will sound so pedestrian to you that, oh, PV is equal to constant for this and, and this is used. This is, this is, this is thermodynamics. This will be using. No, maybe, maybe or may not be, but normally it is constant. You are using a closed cylinder which, which, which has a piston or it is expanding, but, but you do not let the gas escape. You may allow it to be, to escape. That, that is not a big deal, but, but if you do not, then this N remains constant. And someone says isothermal, so this is a constant, this remains constant, this is also a constant, so PV is equal to constant. Okay? And it is such a great help. Maybe, maybe you are not able to reach here. Due to, due to certain things because first of all you do not know what gamma is that that will clear out later don't worry about it but but whatever happens this always gets followed always fine this always has to be followed okay this is the combined gas equation fine and now we'll solve a problem in it 